The PO unboxing. Yeah. So, I want you to guess real quick here. Are you forgetting something? What? The sign and the everything and. Well, first I'm gonna double check the design. Yep. Okay. Yes. Are you forgetting the? The check it again sign and the poop sign. It's all the way over there. Do, 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 do. It's all the way over there. God, fucking lazy. Besides, we got the theme song now. We don't need we don't need to do the thing. Oh, that's true. I miss it. I'm sad now. You've been nothing but. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours, sweetie. All of it will be my distress and sadness. So I want you to guess. Because I checked on this. I want you to guess. When was the last PO unboxing we did? October? Nope. September? No. January? No. no. December? No. When? November 25th. Okay. So it's been over three months. We probably got Christmas in here. Too. I'm going to say, there's going to be Christmas jingle, stuff probably. Jingle bells, jingle like like way. things wishing us all Merry Christmas. It's February! Oh. Valentine's bells, Valentine's bells, Valentine's bells. I was going to get started here. I love you and let's ring ring and let's get ending my jingling. Hey. I'm going to start with something from Japan. You've been really eager to open that one up. Yes, because Japan. And you know, you guys know I'm a freaking weeaboo. So, of course, and this is from Mitsuo Sato. This is from, An this is from Amazon, so I got nothing. So, uh, Guardians of the Globe, Volume 2, Hard to Kill. So. As well as two manga. So, Mr. Sato, thank you for sending this to me, and I'm really eager to see what it is, and it already looks great, and Mob I don't know what it is, and... What? Mob Psycho 100. Is it? Okay, one says it's Card Captor Sakura 2019. Like calendars, so, I think, is what it said so on the thing. So, I'm going to look at this because I love Card Captor Sakura, and it's adorable, and someone got this with... Ooh, what's that? Eden Zero. Ah, cool. I don't know anything about Eden Zero, so I'm looking forward to put that on my shelf. Ah, open. Open Card Captor Sakura. From Jeremy Zapor, enjoy your gift. Card Captors, a mystic adventure. Card Captors, a quest for all time. Now, this is actually the clear card arc, uh, Card Captor Sakura, which I watched some of and. It, the first few episodes were so bland. It's like, what? So I kind of dropped it. Maybe I'll pick it up again sometime because I do like Card Captor Sakura, but I'm, I mostly just like the original series. I, I'm sorry. It's just the one I grew up with. Anyway, this calendar is huge. Look at this. This can like, this will cover my whole door. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the other one is. Got a bunch of issues of Transformers timelines from eBay. Transformers! Transformers! Say, say it, honey. Transformers. No, you know the rest. Transformers. Transformers. You know, the catchphrase. All right, more new items available. Oh my freaking God. You suck at this. I just want you to know that. Oh, cool, and this one is Evangelion. Now, I, when are we going to get the next movie? I think 2020 is what they said, but... Uh, my main ship has been Kaoru and Shinji since... For like over 10 years now. And I need more, more ship fuel for that. So bring out the next movie sooner than later. Now I'm not sure what to, which one to put up in my That's office. Right. They're just both so good. I'll probably go for the Ava one oh just because... God. Ava? Like, yeah, like, 
the people they order the, the eBay thing from, Gallery of Wonder, they like stuck on a bunch of their business cards on here and then wrapped it up yet again, annoyingly. They want to make sure you shop at Gally, Gallery of Wonder. Well, obviously Hashtag they all... not spam sponsored, but we can be. Obviously they already you know, ordered from them. Anyway. So what's the point? Anyway, I got something from Bunny Gage. And it is a Christmas card! A Pokemon Christmas card from Ooh. the Pokemon Center! Nice. Look! Adorable. Yeah, you should keep this to put on your shelf. Oh. And there's this, of course, writing it, so I'm going to read it. I'd be happy about that. The problem is they taped the comic to the damn cardboard. Uh, anyway, dear Louis and Vega, I hope you two are doing well when you receive this. Things have improved since the last time I wrote both of you. I thank you for your kind words about my... Is that say dog? Dog. We got in a new one since because then we named and then we named him Joey since we joke he hops since he hops around when he gets excited. I'm glad v Vega has a place to upload idols of anime, even if it, sorry, even if it has to be on a new channel. I had been wanting to check it out for a while but couldn't find anything before. From what I have watched, I enjoyed it and I look forward to more. And it was awesome to learn to learn Lewis and I both like the Marie line in Pokemon. It has been one of my faves for years. Wish they had a plush of it, of many itself. You, me, you and me both. You usually see Ampharos more. Yeah. Stay warm, and I hope your holidays are grand. Sincerely, Barney Gay. Bonnie Gay. Thank you, Bonnie. P.S. I would give you two high fives if I could. Also for playing Overwatch, I main Mercy and Mora, while I my bestie plays Sombra and Brigitte. Also, there's a little doodle in the back. I usually do it in a card for people that get cards, but it felt more fitting here. Yeah, well, we show, we'll show that off to the people. And it's a little, like, rape. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's nice. Yeah, thanks so much. Put that in the, uh, yeah. If Fan it, letter bin. We actually have a bin now. If it was actually Christmas, we'd probably just put it on the shelf right now. Yeah. Red Sonia holiday special. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of Christmas in Valentine's Day. Oh man, we should just you should just call this episode Christmas in February. I can't. I already I already released a, po a Pokemon Let's Play with the episode title wherein I saved Christmas because we finally caught the Deli Bird. Sigh. Anyway, I'm opening a card from Roland Allard. And my, I'm sorry, my paws are frozen. Oh man, I wish that was only my that was I wish that was my only problem. Ha 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 ha. And to Lewis and V, how was Christmas? It was good. It was good. Santa left anything under the tree? Hell yeah. Do uh, do have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's make 2019 a year of more bad comic book destruction and more good comic book reviews. Here's Excelsior, hoping. Roland. Here's hoping. Merry Christmas, Lewis. Merry Christmas, Vega. <laughs> <laughs> in February. Oh, wait, Halloween in February? <laughs> what a bizarre concept. I've got to check this out. Oh my god, you guys gotta watch Bojack. <laughs> Vampirella Halloween special. Oh my god, it is Halloween in January. Anyway, Fe I'm February. February. <laughs> watch anyway, Bojack. <laughs> I'm opening something from it. Hmm. There was a name and now it's gone. And this one actually has a name, you know, for the first one. Something from J. O'Neill. H. Anton. Yay, because the first one's not an eBay purchase. <laughs> All right, Jay O'Neill sent. Whoop! Oh, thing dropped there. Help. I got it. Yeah. Socks. Superman socks. Superman socks for your super feet. God, it's, it sucks being old and actually liking getting socks as a present. Infinite Crisis. We got number one pages. Count, countdown to Infinite Crisis number one. Although I already reviewed all of it and I have it, but thank you. <laughs> Manhunter. Uh, let's see. We got this big one, 2000 AD, the Ultimate Collection, Ooh. two. We have one, so now we got two. Oh my god, we have a holiday-appropriate thing, the Punisher, Bloody Valentine. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else? We got Flashpoint, the first season. We got a letter here. Do you want to read the letter? Or? I will read the letter. Ah. We also got Red Robin. We got the Rider Rolled. The... Ryan? Reinhold or Reingold. Reingold. It's DMC27 here again, donating some things and writing to you as I usually do. I'm currently reading the Doomsday Clock series. It's really good. This is the ending of issue number seven. It'll, I'll, it'll have you coming back for more. It's, 
Oh my it's god. Just a we got scan a chick, of the thing. Which we got don't a chick need. tracked. Who's it gonna be? Okay, so for you guys who don't know, back when I did Vega Loves Comics, I used to review chick tracks occasionally. It was always like a kind of a special episode cuz I like like taking a piss out of these things. They're horrible. They're horrible representing their religion. They're horribly offensive to anyone, well, pretty much anybody. These things are horrid, and I love making fun of them, making fun of the art, making fun of the uh, crap, and is this a 9-11 one? What? So anyway, for the letter, <laughs> Sorry, Viga, yeah. who's the better brony, you or Mr. Anthropony? I don't know who that is, but... Uh. Lewis, I totally agree with you on Man of Steel. It doesn't matter if you saw it on opening night or a month later. A bad movie is still a bad movie. Excellent winner for Long Box of the Dam, by the way. Oh, is that probably for the contest? Have you ever seen the Arrow vs. Crisis on Earth X? No. Wow, what a disappointment. I'll never look at White Canary, Captain Cold, and the Ray in the same light ever again. Lots of awful acting. Take that, you Nazi mother. And Supergirl's General, would you care to step outside line, was enough to make me turn off the DVD player. How dare she quote a line from a way better event. Although the CW Flash is better than Ezra Miller, enclosed are a few comics, including Red Robin. There is an NTC Region 1-3-disc one, uh, one, set of Flashpoint, not the Flash storyline that created the awful New 52. The TV series starring Amy Jo Johnson, a.k.a. Kimberly the Pink Ranger. Take care, guys. Have fun. DMC27. Thank you. Also, if you're curious and want to see those Chick Track reviews I uh, talked about, I think I put some of them on Bleach TV. Mostly because, but I do want to put them back on YouTube, just not on my channel right now. And we also got this uh, little card. Oh, let's see. Walking in a Winter Wonderland to Lewis and Vega. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And a tag to Pokemon Center. Hey. Hey, thank you. All right, let's see. Let's open a box. I like boxes. I got eBay. <laughs> I like boxes. What is? Who is this from? This is from... Aren't. Just aren't. Probably Keith aren't. Aren't you surprised? <laughs> you didn't want to you didn't want to acknowledge no. my pun. No, I did not. Come on. Acknowledge my pun. No, what I will acknowledge is yet another Punisher Christmas. It's a Christmas present. What two of them. We don't get Christmas presents. Well, now we got Christmas presents. Uh, there's like tags on them. Lewis, okay. Okay, this one is to Vega. Thank you, Keith Arndt. Let's see what it is. Yeah, conveniently you got them on the right thing. Oh, cool. I got a Harley Quinn. I'm getting like no edges here for this paper. Check it out. Harley Quinn. Ah, there we go. Hmm, not bad. Lots of articulation. And it has props. Cool. I got Stephanie Brown a spoiler. Also, Lex Luthor, Superman, and build a figure. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I could probably use this for uh, when I do my Cassandra Kane retrospective. Oh, yeah. Keep, definitely, definitely want to keep that, like, on a shelf or something. Yeah. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas in February. Merry Christmas in February. This is Christmas in America. <laughs> uh, another eBay one right here. Should I just go put on a Christmas hat, honestly? I mean, I think there might be one over on the side there. <laughs> anyway, I'm opening something from Nicole Schneider. I'm breaking down this box. Yeah, you break that box, honey. Down with the box, people. Who in the world is Carmen Sandiego? I'll do you one better. <laughs> Why is Gamora? <laughs> Why is Carmen Sandiego? <laughs> But yeah, there's the Netflix series that's going on right now, and it looks like this is a little kind of light novel as the lead-up to it. I think it's just a book, not a not light novel. Well, it's light, it's a book, it's like the size of, you know, kids' ch chapter books, light yeah. novel, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I haven't watched the Carmen Sandiego show yet, but I did watch the trailer, it looked pretty good. I, I just have to, you know... I hear the actress who played Carmen Sandiego in the in the uh, 90s animated series actually plays her mentor. Oh, wow. Now that's good. Hmm. Also, there's a letter. Oh, Lewis, I hope you enjoyed the book sampler. Thanks for your purchase. Oh, okay. Really, thanks for the purchase. I'm assuming that's from the seller. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I remember loving Carmen Sandiego when I was a kid. Like that show on PBS where all the kids had to figure out, well, where in the world she is. 
and it had that acapella thing. I much prefer the 90s animated series where... Where, where is Garner San Diego? I'm that not, one? Yeah, but I'm not... But but while I'm not, like, keen one way or another about the theme song, I'm more... In, I was more interested in the storyline with, with the Acme Detective Agency and player C5 us to Germany, that kind of thing. I also had... Love that. I also had an educational game, and hey, it's a 2019 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers calendar! Hooray! Da, 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 da. Go, go, Power Rangers! Monday through Friday, go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> also Saturday and Sunday! Go, go, Power Rangers! Mighty Morphin Calendar Rangers! Stop taping the comics to the cardboard! <laughs> anyway, Red Riding Hood one-shot. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and guess what I'm about to open is a calendar. Guys, we only need one calendar! Yeah, but if like seven people get a calendar, we, then we, that's like seven calendars. We don't need a calendar for every room in the house! Sure we do. Oh, we do! We need an Ava one. We need a... Hey! It's a... Sailor, Sailor Moon, Moon calendar. calendar! Someone gave me one, uh, like a couple years back, and I used it and I loved it. Camera. Like, I had one for my office at the time, like, because I was, like, working in an office, and I had one for home, for the home office. Indeed. So, I think maybe I'll put this one upstairs, but now I'm like, what am I going to do with my card captor soccer one from Japan? From or should I use my Evangelion one? Too many options, people! From Zachary Benowitz is this one. You know what would be nice? A Sailor Moon Planner. Or card captor Sakura Day Planner. A stack of comics. Alright, this one is for Steven St. Amand. That sounds like a nice name. Exactly. Steven St. Amand of the Canadian Amands. Alright, we got Where Monsters Dwell, The Hypernaturals, What If Infinity Thanos number one, What If X Men Infinity number one. Hey. Uh, the same comic. Oh, there's that. Mr. Mr. TNT Florence card. As it should be. Last camera action! <laughs> Daredevil She. Violator Bedrock. The Who Wants to Be a Superhero comic. Mr. T and a T Force that came with said card. Yeah, that's like number four, which I reviewed uh, a year, like last year, yeah. Hmm. Stranger Things number one. Okay, got my attention there. Looks like some good long box material here. Fun for the whole family. Slimer and the real Ghostbusters. Uh, <laughs> the Hangman number one. Dog Boy. And how to publish comic books to direct market. Jazz Gold number one with a shiny hollow foil uh, uh, label. Deadpan. Like, eat, like, damn, what, I lost it. I was going to say, like, that guy from the um, Naked Gun movies, and I forgot his name. I don't know. Leslie Nielsen in Deadpan. Oh, that one, yeah. Evangeline. Cerebus, mothers and daughters, with a big beer on the cover that makes me really want a beer right now. Clearly, you know, well, it, that clearly the beer is the feminine void that is absorbing his, his masculine light. Fuck Cerebus. Well, it's, well, specific, I've never actually read Cerebus, but I know that the creator, I, can't, I can never remember his name... Is well, yeah, okay. a weirdo. Okay, to be more accurate, fuck the creator of Sarah. There you go. I think is that Chris Sim. Is well, it? we can find out right now. Oh, well, that's too much effort. Uh, why isn't our name on this? Uh, five, effort. <laughs> anyway, Evangeline again. <laughs> Casey Blue Beyond Tomorrow. Alpha King. Alpha Spider Geddon with uh, Spider Gwen on the cover. Unbelievable Gwenpool, no, uh, 24 and 25. New Universal Shocker... Shock Front? I was, I, for a second there, I thought it said Shocker Front. Mm. I'm opening something from Jimmy Hunter. And I'm continuing to try to make space so we can actually... So we're not, like, you know, scrunch up against each other. Yeah, there's a lot on both sides of us. Yep. There's, like, a lot on either side. eBay one here. Ah, we got Evangeline Glory, the swimsuit special. Excellent. So here's another preview of something that's going to happen. We're going to have a very different episode in July. I'm going to talk about swimsuit issues. Oh, man. Are you going to do it in swim trunks? No. You should do it in swim trunks. No. We'll, we'll take you to the gym so you look all buff for it. Yeah, sure. We'll, that's, uh, that, that'll that happen. <laughs> I'll, okay, fine. I'll take some Sharpie and draw How muscles does... on you. Okay, that worked. You know, it worked for 8-Bit Mickey. <laughs> 
<laughs> you no, you wear wear one of those shirts with the uh, drawn on. Ass. There you go. Not not even a, a fake a fake Halloween muscle suit. Just like a shirt with fake with, with, with fake ass. <laughs> and you have like I don't know one of those Hawaiian flowers over your fedora. <laughs> oh uh, my God! You death know what's time for? Wow! Wario. That go. That actually will go great with the Waluigi plushie. Yeah, we have a Waluigi too. So yay! Now we got a, a Wario to go with it. You know, eventually I'm gonna get back to doing some kind of Mario comic, and these things will be great for background materials. Waluigi. Wow. That's what I was Wario. Wario. Destroy Mario. <laughs> I that like the WarioWare games. I, 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 what, did, I, did they bring one out for the Switch? If they did, I am not aware of it. We should play WarioWare. Those were those were fun. <laughs> Another eBay one. With, you know, an eBay branded duct tape at that. <laughs> That's weird to me. Like, who supplies that? eBay. Like, do they like, okay, we gotta send the thing out. Can you send us an eBay brand duct tape? Alright, this is just from, it says it's from Amazon. But it has a lot in it. It has Devilman 2. I already got the other Devilman, started it, need to finish the first one, but heck yeah, you guys should get into the Gona Guy. This one wasn't a gift, this one was something I ordered that I fr th that, that unfortunately didn't arrive in time. Batman Aliens. <laughs> so now I've got that for when I do issue 2, which I'm planning to do next year. Hey, Lewis, do you like DC Comics? I do like DC Comics. Do you like Japanese manga? That's all right. Well, now you can have DC Comics and manga at the same time. Introducing Batman and Justice League Volume 1, by, drawn by Shiori Tetsurogi. My God, look at the proportions on Superman there. Just the tiniest of heads. Oh, yeah, I got Cucumber Quest uh, 4. Like, like, his hand is bigger than his head. That That's a thing they made fun of in the Superman animated series in regards to Liefeld. <laughs> Star-Lord, because Marvel's awesome. And Tekken Blood Fuel. Tekken Fuel. Blood Fuel. I haven't even played Tekken since 2. Like, I'm way behind on that. Ah. But yeah, thank you so much. I, I love Amazon. getting new manga. I'm... Like, pretty much the manga person in the house. Another thing from uh, Jeremy Zapore and Amazon. We got a few manga. Oh, yay, manga. All right, we got My Hero Academia Vigilantes. Want. Uh, Oren High School Host Club. You, Mine. I, I, can, Oren. I can hold them up myself, you know. <laughs> My Love Story, Volume 1. Yoink. I watched the entire anime for this, and I love it. I have, like, I read some of the manga. But I don't own it, any of it, and so I'm like, yay. Oh, thank this you, Jeremy. This is, Jeremy. like, probably one of my favorite, like, um, modern shoujos. I, I love this. If you don't know, it's about this huge-ass guy, Ta Takeo, who's, like, big muscles, very intimidating-looking, but kind of ugly, you know? And then, like, he helps protect this girl, and the girl's, like, way into him. And he has a history with women. Like, basically, he, he likes girls... But none of them want to give him time of day because of how he looks. But she just falls so innocently head over heels with, heels with him. It's like a wonderful, gentle romance. And it's such a cute story. I can't help but love it. I've got a card here from Victoria M. Kaze hey. to the Love Hog family. Aww. When you write it like that, it sounds like we have kids. Well, give it time. Got a, <laughs> we got a Christmas card and a Christmas note. All right. Try to read this. I'm trying to see if this is like a. Oh, uh, oh this is my friend, uh, my friend Victoria and Fred. Oh, it's actually like a, like a proper Christmas card. Yeah, I didn't like hear hear you when you said that here. Totally hear the name. Yep. Yeah, they are my friends from California. Huh. Yeah, well, when I was there in LA, I like got to hang out and have dinner with them. It was my first time meeting them outside the internet. Cause ah. you know how you have internet friends for like long time. Sometimes like maybe about a decade, but you never met each other in real life. And I finally got to meet him. I never thought I would meet Fred because he used to live in England and now he lives here uh, and, and married our other friend who, from online who lived all the way in Cali. And so I got to meet them both and it was like wonderful. It was the Anime Expo last, like last, no, yeah, last year. That was a more personal one then. We don't have to read yeah. that on camera. We can just uh, put that over there if you want to. Yep. Otherwise, I got a proper letter here. Assuming I'd go 
assuming, from Justin Winslow. And I got a package from... Hey, it's Royal Mail. So, UK. I don't know who is it from. Got a Christmas card full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, especially Elemental Hero Neos. So, yeah, and a few other ones. We'll, we'll check these out later. But the actual card says... Dear Lewis, I do not have any questions for you today. I just wanted to wish you and be got Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Justin. Wishing you a blizzard of holiday cheer, which is slightly, oh. which is kind of annoying. Not because of the card. I express, I understand the sentiment. We just had a blizzard yesterday, uh, uh, like a yes. day or two ago. Blizzards. It's been snowing so much. Plus we had the polar vortex. I'm done with snow again. It's not as bad as last year, but I can't take it anymore. It's been negative degrees. Negative 20s. Name it thirties. It's I, I I can't do this. And I need stuff. the sunlight. Anyway, I'm gonna read this letter. And this is just like print offs of Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Anyway, dear Linkara, this is gonna be slightly different from what we usually get in the donation box, but here it is in a nutshell. I present you Great Y Comics, an independent comic book producer from the east coast of England. I'm a tiny company right now. And I'm looking to gain some exposure in the States. It's a snake bite. Snake bite number one. Keep reading off, I'll oh, show you. Oh, wow, them. the art looks pretty all right. All right, it's a rather long story, so please bear with me. This is a very long letter. I think I need to pass some of this to you. I will happily take it after I show off this larger snake bite graphic novel. Okay. All right, our operating own Great Y Comics, Great Yarmouth, very, uh, very own independent comic book publisher, fully recognized by the H, uh, HMRC as such. And you can see from the material supplied to you, my company has a unique aspect of printing both comic book, graphic novels, and written novels, both covering the same subject matter. In this case, Great White Comics flagship series, the Snake Bite comic. You see the point of those that those who read comics and may not like to read novels might be tempted by the prospect of learning more about their favorite characters, whereas those loving the written word may be tempted to see what the characters actually look like. Here you go. All right. Where were you uh, left off? Of course, my company, Great White Comics, owes all royalties and ideas, and everything has been created by myself. Right now, all my works are fully published by Consilience Media slash UK Book Publishing, and I am enjoying sales via Amazon. However, I'm still an extremely small company, including my accountant. My staff consists of two people, so right now I'm looking for exposure. Of course, atop the fourth wall is legendary in terms of comic reviewers. Thank you. And while I personally don't see my work as bad, I'm sure you can poke more than a few holes in it. I'm not going to lie. If I'm going to grow any bigger, I need people to actually know who I am. So not only would you be getting a show out of my material, but you'd be helping the underdog score a few goals. Uh, that's probably not going to happen, unfortunately, because I tend to uh, uh, look for stuff <laughs> explicitly bad, and that looks hilarious. I need to show that off. It's just he's naked, and it's just the logo covering the his bar. dong. <laughs> <laughs> Let me quickly tell you about myself. I'm a 26-year-old games designer who ended up living in part of the country where computers are not as useful as tractors. Unable to open my own game production company, I took everything I learned and taught myself how to draw comics, and I opened the doors to my own comic book company. You'll see me learning via the subtle differences in my style in Chapter 1 compared to Chapter 3. The whole point of Great Y Comics is to attract more amateur local artists and teach them how to create comics. I proved I could do it, so I'll teach others too as well, giving them a taste of the comic industry with the end goal of turning Great Y Comics into East Anglia's very own answer to the comic book industry. I have to say, like, yeah, this is obviously beginner work, but it's not, like, not too bad. I really love the character design of this character. What um what will really help you go farther is if one you work on your backgrounds you have a lot of you have some really good ones like you have this one now yeah you can make that more dynamic but you kind of in some of the scenes just flipping through it could use a background just so we know where everyone is you have a uh, oh god this, yeah there's, there's a bit have, of a problem there's some walls of text there you have walls of text it's a rule of thumb I learned in uh, books I think it might be one of Stan Lee's books. That it's good to heap at no more than 25 words in a single, like, word bubble. And your lettering definitely needs work. Now, uh, Blambot, I, they have some blog posts on how to letter. Yeah, I'm seeing Comic Sans here. Yeah, like, they have some, not only you could find great fonts for comic book lettering, but also you could find good blog posts on how to do comic book lettering. But at least you're not doing that amateur thing I see on some comics where it's like, they don't even center it or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, what's going to really help you go farther is, like, just that tips. Otherwise, keep working on, like, like I really like the character designs you got. And, and your action scenes are... 
pr are, yeah, they need work. Just some, you need some uh, practice your anatomy more. But you got a good beginning here. Yeah, honestly, I've seen I've seen work that don't even get this far. And clearly, you've produced a lot of work here and with a lot of thought and effort into it. And yeah. Yeah, and compared to the first few pages to the later pages, that you can see a really good like, what's it called? You can see how you're getting better. I like the use of color too. Oh yeah, that that part really like makes everything stand out. But yeah, practicing your anatomy and lettering is going to help this stand out a lot more. And I am going to skip. Sorry for this, <laughs> the quick critique, but I just see so much potential, and that's why I was like just inspired to give you a critique because I know you can go much farther. Yep, I am going to skip to the end here just because there's just so much here and there's a lot of just like. Yeah, you technical stuff. If I could be somewhat unprofessional for a second, I've been watching atop the fourth wall since before the fall of Blip TV. All through my college years, I enjoyed your work, leaning towards comics more so than the movie reviews, so even sending out you this is quite the note to make in the old diary. Anyway, I've said my piece. I hope this finds you in good spirits, and regardless of what you decide to do with my work, all the best for the future. So, thank you, Dudley, Elvis Dudley Rudelhoff from Great Y Comics. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um... But yeah, you have a pretty, so your foundation's pretty well. Just have to work on that anatomy, mm. backgrounds, and lettering. And you're gonna really get, you're, you're just gonna get better. Yeah. I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos for that. And I've been like really diving into art videos since I'm doing the black, uh, draw black girls for Black History Month. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, it's Black History Month, that's February. And I'm kind of celebrating my blackness by doing this whole draw black girls. It's kind of like what I do for Inktober, but I'm drawing a black girl every day of the month. It's on my, I'm doing it on my Twitter, my Instagram, my Tumblr, and my Facebook. Uh, Vega on Twitter, Vega Lovers on Instagram. You can find it there. And that's been my art, pro my personal art project for this month. And I want you to go check it out. And artists out there, you should join into the fun. And what's the hashtag for that? Hashtag draw black girls. Very simple. All right. This and, is from Kevin A. Van Thorn. And this is an eBay thing. So, soul fire. Soul fire. Might have to swap this out because we're already getting soul full here. Fire. Probably because we didn't like organize. We didn't like stack them properly. Yeah. You get caught up in the soul fire. All right. I got. Oh, it's. it's there we go. Ah, it's taped together. Why you do this? We got Vanguard Illustrated. And we got Silver. I don't know any of these things. Me neither. But I've got lots of eBay purchases. Yeah. I got something from Donovan Shelton. Let's see what it is. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Say some things for the camera, please. Do, I'm not do, saying do, do, do. anything because I don't know who it's. You know, because the thing is, I try to double check, see if like the original purchaser had their name on the shipping receipt. Ah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I hate it when they do all this. My God, like. Ah. You don't need to be this protective of the comics. Trust me, chances are they're not that valuable. Uh, they're not gonna listen. Besides, some people like that their stuff is packed like this. They're yeah. wrong. Uh, oh God! Enter and the Wreckers Part Two. And it's taped to another cardboard inside two taped cardboards. Ah! Ah! See, I'm almost done with my stack, so I can get through here. Um, Starbase Atlantis from uh, Starbase Atlantis, right? Okay, it's the Punisher Holiday Special. I'm never going to, like, this, this is going to be the annual tradition. Every single Punisher Christmas special I'm going to end up reviewing. You should just do Punisher Christmas Month. All December, just Punisher. Uh. And the storyline to be about punishment. No. Well, you ruin Christmas uh, for, a, a, like, a billionth year in a row. Yeah, you stop that. This never! One, I must ruin Christmas every year. This one's from Kathleen Aw. And it's... The Harley Quinn hol holiday special. We're gonna get a lot of Christmas. <laughs> Christmas in February. You already did that. Yeah, we already did that many times. People are done with it. The bit is over. The Lost in Space comics. Sorry, we already have this. Uh, yeah, we do. I think we have like two copies actually. So now we got three. Yep. And I'm opening something from. 
Donovan Shelton again. From Dungeon Comics. The thing is, you can tell if it's if, if it says eBay on it. That's from uh, that's just an eBay purchase. But it doesn't say eBay on it. Doesn't it though? No. Doesn't it? No. Why are doesn't you looking it? again over me? Doesn't it? I said it didn't. Doesn't it? Lewis, you don't have to look at the stuff. I, I have to look at it. it. I know what it said, Lewis. No, you don't. You're mean. You're mean. You're mean to you're, me. You're mean to me. No, you're mean in front of people too. That's even worse. You're oh. the worst jerk ever. You're the jerky of jerks. You're jerk, jerk. You're jerk squared. I'm beef jerky. Oh God, get out! Now you're banned. Oh my God, it's in a paper that's in a. <laughs> ah! I think we know the real. <laughs> So what I'm hearing from this is that the real jerks are the people who package comics for, for shipping. Yes! You're all jerks! All of you! This is your fault! Anyway, oh my. It's Evangeline Swimsuit Edition! I feel like we have that one already, but I can't remember. We should go through and find all the swimsuit comics. We I, have a lot to choose from. I have already, at least I thought I did. Anyway, White Widow with a hollow foil logo thing and also her butt. Oh, let me see that butt. Eh, there's better butts. Yeah. All right. I've almost got my stack done over here so I can you know, move over a bit. I got an eBay thing. Mm -hmm. Amazon for me with a gift inside. Ooh. <laughs> Every time I hear the word gift inside, it reminds me of your comic on the legendary four of Kung Fu and Ninja. It just says free gifts. But there were no free gifts. From Jeffrey Piet, we've got Star Trek Little Golden Books. Oh my god! I am Mr. Spock and I am Captain Kirk. Oh wow, so this is Leonard Nimoy's I am Spock book. <laughs> okay, I'm looking through this. I'm curious about this now. Oh god. I kind of don't want to break the uh, thing too much. Uh, I like the art. I am Captain J.C. Kirk as a Enterprise Travel to Space. It's my job to keep everyone aboard safe. Let me introduce you to my crew. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is really great. I I grew up on the little golden books. This is like my childhood. I had a whole <sighs> whole collection of these, and I really wish I still had them because so many art in them were amazing. And it's just this iconic gold thing. Do they have this in other countries? I'm just curious if they had little golden books in other places, or is it just an American thing? Yeah. Because that was my childhood. We grew up with the little golden books. That's right. It's okay. So that is cute AF. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, this unboxing is pretty much, so far, being Christmas, uh, giving critiques on things, and uh, complaining about cardboard. From Michael Primula. Why are you guys watching this again? Punisher Bloody Valentine. I think oh. that's like uh, another issue of it. No, no, actually it's a one shot. So we've got two copies of this one. By Avatar, we have Exposure Special. I'm assuming there's no actual nudity. It's all covered. Yep, looks like it's a swimsuit sort of thing. <laughs> hey, honey. Yo. Do you work for Exposure? I can't pay my rent with that. Well, you can if you expose them titties. No. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> if you did that, I would be like... <laughs> Please, I want this video to stay monetized. Look, 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 look. You're a man. They won't care. No. Well, I can't put it on Tumblr at the very least. Oh, no, no. You should definitely put it on Tumblr. They, they eat that shit up. I can't have any presenting nipples. <laughs> no, it's female presenting nipples. You're a man, damn it. Anyway, I'm opening something from Todd Jensen. I got one from Steve Travis from Canada. Steve Travis sounds like a comic book name. The problem is they listed off already what's inside of it. In the hey, uh, This is a lot. In the, in the shipping description. All right. Todd Jensen has sent. I am legend. The comic. Sent. I am legend. And we got I am legend. I am legend. I think this is just of all of I am legend. Oh no, we got GI Joe. The American hero. GI Joe. We got
got executive assistant a lotus well eh. i can't believe this is just called executive assistant a lotus that is just i i don't know what to make of that name the name of this comic i just like it <laughs> uh we got predator 2 Ooh, predator 2 adaptation you know i've already picked out what i'm gonna do for for movie adaptation month but damn talk about predator 2 would be fun yeah, we got it one and two, which is the whole set. So we got yeah. Heathen one to six. And more GI Joe. Yeah, am I am I gonna have to replace this? Yes. Are two of the same issue? No. Wait, yes. May yes. Are they? It's a, I. It's just they're different colors. Oh my god! Like it's called a variant. I know it, <laughs> a variant, but like we don't need variants, guys. Especially <laughs> one like that. No, no, honey. I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm just letting people know not to waste money on that. Okay. Because I am thankful for all the gifts that I, we receive from these lovely people. As am I. I'm just letting people know because I don't want them wasting their money on the same comic twice. That is true. It's why we tell them. Oh, I'm sorry. We already have this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got one from eBay. Hey, I guess this. I wonder if this is a calendar. No, that, that can't be right. This. Maybe it's a calendar. I don't know, sweetie. Is it a calendar? I really can't tell. I wonder what Pokemon it is. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll never know. Yeah. <sighs> okay, it is a out. All right. Power Rangers calendar. Ooh. Oh, it's Beast Morphers. Oh, hey. Is that the new one? Yeah, it's one that hasn't come out yet. Oh, wow. They already got merch for it. Hasbro knows they got to start capitalizing on and it. And wait, there's only three of them? Wait a second. It's Saban's Power Rangers. Wait, Saban has it now? They shouldn't. Maybe and they were planning on already doing Beast Morphers before Hasbro bought it. Maybe Hasbro doesn't have it anymore. No. They haven't. They, they can't have sold it back to Saban. Then why does it say Saban? Maybe they actually, maybe like by license, they can't actually call it like just Hasbro's Power Rangers. It has to be called Saban's Power Rangers. Or and this was already in the works before they sold it. I'm just more amazed that there's three of them and not like five. Honey, there's just a red, yellow, and blue. Where's the green? Where's the black? Where's the pink? Yeah, there have been series with only three Rangers before. I don't recall any. Uh, Dino Thunder? I didn't watch that. Jungle Fury. I'm too old for it. So, for the record, in, you know, RPM has started out with technically only three. I'm just, I'm just not I'm used I'm just to saying, it. sweetie, just because you didn't watch it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Whatever. Anyway, you got a miniature Power Rangers. My Morphin Era, the one I grew up with. The good old-fashioned Power Rangers. Five people, five colors. Wait, later six people. A good old-fashioned Power Rangers. None of this Beast Morphin shit. Grim Fairy Tales, different seasons. And, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna we're, we're gonna have to swap this out because this thing oh, is really getting full and it's gonna fall over. Alrighty. Okay. Yep, we're gonna have to switch this. Why don't you grab the blue one for the library? And yep. I'll, and I'll entertain the masses. Well, I was gonna say, something. why don't I just pause the video and then and then do it? We'll be back after these messages. And we're back. Wow, wasn't that commercial so amazing, Vega? It was great. How product was so amazing. <laughs> How I, I can't wait to go out and buy product. This episode was brought to you by Trans Transformers. They're more than meets the eye. <laughs> more new items available. <laughs> and that was from Koi Fung. Games Express Online sent this thing. Which is, ooh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection for the Switch. Oh! No! So that's a Christmas present. From Jeremy Zapore. Oh my god, Street Fighter. I was like, just the other day, I was like, man, I wish I had Street Fighter. Literally the other day, I was like, man, I could go for some Street Fighter. And look what shows up! Street Fighter! And you more and more games for our Switches, so that's nice. You don't understand. I've been playing Street Fighter since I was, like, a little one. Like, maybe eight, nine? And I loved it. First player I ever... First character I played, Chung Lee, of course. Because that's the girl. 
Oh, wow. I still play Chun-Li to this day. So here's a list of stuff that's apparently in this. Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2, different logo color. Street Fighter 2, super fight it. A uh, hyper fighting. Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Man, there are a lot of Street we Fighter are going, 2 variations. Let's play Street Fighter after this. Holy shit. Street Fighter Alpha. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Alpha 3. Street Fighter 3 New Generation, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact Giant Attack, and <laughs> Street Fighter Third Strike. And a tiny little thing written down there which I cannot read. Don't forget Street Fighter Angelic Days where it's just a, you know, a high school AU where every nothing ever happens except, you know, romance. And of course, Street Fighter Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much, Jeremy. Don't forget Street Fighter Scared Stupid, Street Fighter Goes to goes to school street fighter uh uh saves christmas street fighter saves halloween street fighter um fried baked street fighter sauteed strip fight cooking street, street fighter street fighter <laughs> street fighter beyond street fighter v superman street fighter endgame anyway ah I'm opening a big one from Lone Star Comics. We got like half completed comic. Land of Plenty, a story of freedom and power. Street Fighter Flash Gordon. Street Fighter Saved by the Bell. Street Fighter Fighting American. It's a Saved by the Bell comic? Yes, which means you gotta do it. And Doctor Who, which unfortunately I, I do, a, I've actually covered this one already on Longbox. Oh. oh. The, the Daleks like, like have an army of werewolves. <laughs> Uh, Mask of the Phantasm, Batman, the animated movie, comic, Street Fighter, <laughs> Street Fighter Dynamo, <laughs> Street Fighter, Sleepwalker Holiday Special. The bit is over, sweetie. Nope, nope. <laughs> Street Fighter Doctor Who, Street Fighter an Secret Animal Is. I don't know what the rest Island, says. Island, maybe? It's, it's, no, it's Secret Animal Is. Thank I'm you. pretty sure there's a sticker covering it's it. It's called Secret Animal Is. I know how to read, Lewis. I, I'm pretty sure I did. I that. know how to read, Lewis. It says Island. I went. I went to school. Okay. It says Island. I went to school under the bridge, and I learned how to read off of cans. Are you telling me I don't know what street, like Secret Animal Is, Street Fighter? So anyway, this is an eBay one. <laughs> anyway, got ElfQuest holiday special. We were talking about ElfQuest on things. the uh, uh, on the on the live stream last week. Oh, like there's like like someone was asking if I would ever review ElfQuest, and I've ever actually read anything. Uh, we got Power Pack holiday special. We got Grim Terror obvious 2016 holiday special. GI Joe Transformers one in a four issue miniseries. Vamp Blit. Whoa. I don't think I, I can't show that. Yeah, I wouldn't. There's female presenting nipples. I better not show that. Yep. Chaos. You got a bunch of stuff and here that I need it. to like, get out of this container. Oh. Now I'm opening something from eBay. Not even like a proper like thing. It's just a bunch of things. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, they're stuck together. Uh. Jungle Book Xenoscope. Yeah. And Grim Tales of Terror. And the Jungle Book. Yeah. Yeah, almost almost showed a booty. I am so sorry. You might have actually gotten there in the in that, in that half second. You're gonna demonetize everything and ruin it all! Look, I said the F word enough times that you're probably demonetized already. That's true. Anyway, I got a boy and his bot holiday special! Hey! Got uh, something from Vault 35. I'm gonna watch it. I've been finally watching Team Four Stars uh, uh, Fallout 4 playthrough, and it's amazing. <laughs> Captain Richard Ravage the Third, Mister. Sorry, I need to read out his full title. Captain Doctor Mister Mrs. Champion uh, uh, Paladin <laughs> Second Lieutenant Captain Richard Ravage the Third. <laughs> They kept, he kept acquiring titles in the wasteland. <laughs> anyway, this is from George Mayers, and it's Web Witch. For a minute, I thought it said Wear Bitch. Oh, it's me too, actually, when I was first going to the bed. <laughs> I was like, Wear Bitch? No, Fun. Web Witch. Font choice is important, kids. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Grim Fairy Tales 2014 Holiday Edition. Oh no, I'm crushing my calendar. Hold up. I gotta save this. There. There. Must save Card Captor Sakura. 
This might be Ooh. an eBay one. The this top of it is covered name. up. Drew. Hey. Oh, sorry. Drew Bazoko. Maybe if it is not, if it's not an eBay purchase. I got something from Hayes Rengul. That sounds like a villain name. Hayes Rengul. eBay. Yeah. It is Vamp Blade. Whoa. Yo, I, uh, that's mm, technically fine. Everything yeah. is covered. Yeah, everything's covered. I can show it. <laughs> Just the other one. Oh, man. I think I've gotten a few individual issues of Vamp Blade. Yeah, you do, in a collection. Hmm. I'm opening something from Andrew J. Potts. Andrew Potts. Potts, you can't cook with him, but he's all right. That's an eBay one. Oh, yeah, it does say eBay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, every one of these, it's like this. <laughs> Every one. How, like, statistically, that should not be the thing. Did, like, someone sue somebody recently, and that's why they they, they, they all started doing this? Like, they, they're filling it up with pieces <laughs> of cardboard. <laughs> it's the theme of our existence. I hate, I, I'm starting to hate eBay. Anyway, we got a butt, we got Grim Tales of Terror. We got Grim Tales of Terror Christmas. We got Grim Fairy Tales 2018 Holiday Special. And, of course, the most holiday favorite, Cyber Spectre. I'm, excuse me, I have the most holiday of things here. Home Depot Safety Heroes. This is beautiful. I got to review this. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you think if you ask nicely, we could film it at the Home Depot down the street? Maybe. <laughs> Be like, hey, you don't know me, but let me film in your, like, appliance section. I'm sorry, I'm a YouTuber. I, I need to film here right now. <laughs> I got something from Vault 35. So did I right here, which is facing each other so I can't see what it is. and probably... Oh my god, they actually put it inside the thing! So I can't see what the hell it is. <laughs> oh, comic book world, why do you do this? Uh, Grim Tales of Terror... More, more, uh, softcore porn covers. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, uh, we just, it's just mostly very sexy stuff. Anyway, we got Robin Hood Holiday Special. Let's see if I can get something more interesting. Weirdly shaped box here from Lang's Sports. Oh, we got the Jungle Book Holiday Special. Just lots of Just holiday me, specials. Right? Yeah. This is why we should have done one before Christmas, hon. Well, probably didn't have enough. And plus, we didn't have time during the holidays. Yeah. We were swamped. We got a sports thing. It's not addressed to me. Well, actually, no, it's right. It is addressed to me. Oh, I was about to say. Yeah, and so I'm not open. sure what the hell the deal is with it. It looks like a plushie. It might be. I just can't get the damn thing is open. Is that a Knuckles? Might be. I do not know. The car and no, the it is uh, that dude from Mega Man. Do, 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 do. I haven't played Mega Man yet. Do, do, do. It's Mega Man. Yeah, play the Mega Man I got you. I'm going to. I want to finish Let's Go Eevee first. I, we, I took a You're break gonna... from it to play Smash. It's Pokemon. You're going to be playing it for months. And? Ugh. Anyway, Persona 3. I buy him Mega Man 11, and he just is like, doesn't care. I cared! He doesn't care! I cared! I thought it would be a great Christmas gift! It was gift. a gift, great gift. I just haven't, I just, I'm playing Let's Go Eevee. I took a break from Let's Go Eevee to play Smash, finished World of Light, and now I'm going back to, uh, back, uh, back like to Pokemon. the shirt, I bought him more. Oh my god. Uh, you see what I would go through being a wife of Linkara. I love you. I love you too. But you hurt me. <laughs> I got you. Uh, uh, being married to me got you Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Shh. Shh. She's doing that because she knows I'm right. You are not right. I am. Ah. I'm totally right and she knows it. No, you're not. Anyway, I'm opening something from Art. And it is... A bunch of stuff. Oh, what do we got there? We got Blaze Blue Continuum Ship. Nice. Which, I mean, like, people shit on Blaze Blue, but I know when I first played it, I actually liked it. But then again, it was some my friend's game at my friend's house, so maybe if I sat down and played this, what if I'm like, eh. Anyway, I like fighting games in general. Hey, Lewis. 
Halloween on VHS. Oh Wait, my god. Blockbuster presents Halloween. Oh wow. You got to put this on the shelf during Halloween. Yeah, I got that's definitely like a, a background material cuz we we don't even have a VCR. We have a VCR. We, do we, have, have, a VCR. we, we have a VCR. We don't have it set up. Yeah, we only have like two or three VHSs that we really care about. Check it out. And a VCR. Yeah, that's Blockbuster presents right on there. Oh man, that is so retro. We got True Crime. Believe it or not, I think I have that specific issue. We got The Warlord. Uh, what else? And there? I got Vampire Law in space. We got The Shadow, year one. Who knows what an evil lurks in the hearts of men? Where's that the shadow, shadow review? It'll come. Where's the shadow review you promised like nine years ago? It'll happen. Where's the shadow review? It'll happen. Where's the shadow review? Anyway, we got uh, Superman Rebirth. One. Got Aquaman. Ah, oh. I dropped something. Yeah. We got Kits and Cats comics. Wonder Woman Rebirth, number one. We got Invincible Iron Man Fear Itself. We got Conclusion of the War of Green Lanterns. And to interrupt you, I have some stuff from Justin Keno. Kenon, I'm sorry, the, your, the last letter is unknown to me. We got Where's My Shogoth? <laughs> oh man, we gotta read that. We got Justice League America. We got Guardians of Infinity. We got Gears of War number three and number four and number five. And let's see what else is in here. Got some other goodies. Got Battlestar Galactica. Oh, here's a letter for you. Huh. Oh, I got a letter here too, so I gotta actually read this first. Okay. Dear Lewis and Vega, Merry Christmas. Ignore the typing on the back just from a draft of my next book I'm working on, and I don't want to waste paper. For Christmas, I got Lewis a comic that might be good for Longbox, and for Vega, her pink and purple Christmas trees and prologue called The Brothers of Nature. I didn't mm -hmm. see that yeah. anywhere in here. Uh, is it the drawing? Oh, I think it's a fanfic. Oh, okay. And some artwork. We got this. You use it for that MLP style D and D game you got at last. How's the story would go is up to you. Happy Better New Year to the both of you, Justin Rennan. I'm sorry again. I'm sorry if I'm Kenan? getting your last name right wrong. Justin Kennan. Kennan, sorry. P.S. I'm trying to guess for some local cons. Wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Hmm. Anyway, here is a letter from Art. All right. Why well, show off Tura? Dear Linkara, it's me, Keith, Ooh. again. Is that getting repetitive? Anyway, I, I know it's been a while since I sent you some stuff, and I'm sorry about that. I started a new job at my local Christmas tree shop as a backroom stocker. I get stuff ready to put out. But now I've got some stuff for you, and I know you have the one package rule, but I wanted to send you and Vega some Christmas gifts, and I wanted to make sure you got them on time, so I had to send them with this first box. Speaking of this first box, inside is an assortment of comics, a copy Ooh. of one of the Blaze Blue games, uh, some DC Universe cards, and a few movies. I hope you enjoy them. Now for some questions. Oh, dude, I got an ambush bug. There's a bunch in here, but I'm just very impressed because there's ambush bug. One, what yeah. do you think of My Hero Academia? I did a live show on the first chapter. I still haven't put that up. I like it. Who's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist and rival? Uh, it remains uh, Jaden Yuki. Rival, probably Chaz, because Chaz it up. Got some more cards here. You have a favorite Yu Gi Oh protagonist? Yu Gi? Where's yes. the ninja style dancer been? On tour. Kronos. Where's Bafo? Well, you've seen him a few times in more recent episodes. Mm -hmm. The problem with, with a character like Bafo is, is, is that he's supposed to only show up when clowns show up in comics, and surprisingly, there's not that many clowns in comics. That's because clowns suck. Uh uh, I would break that down. I don't know how. You just cut the underside and flatten it. They're the underside and flatten it. I don't wanna. You just got the. You could do that while I'm reading the letter. <clears throat> Have you considered making a character who's obsessed with anime? I already got one. Yeah, but you never write me in, do you? Good point. I should do that. I fix that. <laughs> you only have me show up when ponies show up, and the last couple times you didn't even do that. Can... So there. Yeah, you have. Every time I've done pony stuff, you've shown up. Off screen. One time off screen. All times off screen. But I did that crossover with uh, crossover with a nostalgia critic. You you appeared in the uh, living room um, and like as my roommate who like said like yo know, fourth time this week that someone you know showed up to to bug me. You're just proof that sleeping with the director does not work. <laughs> <laughs> Can you and Vega do your best impressions of All Might's laugh from My Hero Academia? I no, because I haven't watched it in like months. 
Who is your favorite My Hero Academia character? Ooh, that's hard. Oh, God. I want to say Sue. You know, fuck it. Sue, definitely. Uh, followed by Midoriya, of course. And I think that's the only, the only two. Oh, wait, no, crap. I forget Bakugo. Oh, I like uh, Bakugo. Well, you decide if you want to read that uh, question or not. I don't have... I don't have dreadlocks. Those weren't freaking dreadlocks. They're called braids. Braids? Box braids speaks exi Do you know what a dreadlock is? What the fu- I'm sorry, just what? Ugh. Will you ever review anything from Guyver? Yeah, probably at some point. I know someone at some point is probably going to patron one of the live-action Guyver movies. Lightspeed Rescue or Operation Overdrive? Lightspeed Rescue. Like, like by a long shot. Animated Grinch or Jim Carrey Grinch? Original animated Grinch. Definitely. And finally, 12, who do you think is the better Batman, Michael Keaton or Val Kilmer? Keaton. Kilmer was okay, Keaton. but 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 not as good as Keaton. Well, that's all. If I had to all... choose between just those two, Keaton, but if I had to choose between all Batman, then it's... Uh... Bruce Timm. Not Bruce Timm. Uh, no, Kevin no. Conroy. Kevin Conroy. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you there. Yeah, you did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we got New York Comic Con, Xenoscope, Groom Tales, Sailor Moon Cosplay Hottie, and uh, Red Riding Hood Hottie. Presumably. <laughs> and that's all for now. I hope you and Vega have a wonderful Christmas, your friend Keith. We did. We did. It was a nice Christmas where I got my husband Mega Man 11. And he hasn't touched it at all. This is from Joe Dillastone. Uh, I'm going to cover up their address, at least as best as it's I can, hard. to try to show off this uh, artwork they did on there. You can't really see it that well, but I got it as best I could. I got something from Zachary Benoit. Hmm. Zachary Benoit. Oh, crap. I accidentally ripped a comic in here. Well, everything is ruined forever now. Well, it's the Injustice versus Masters of the Universe. Uh, Convergence, Boaster Gold, Adventures of the Super Sons, Harley Quinn, Manga She, Manga She 2000, Manga She 2000, Superb Superbia, 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 that looks scary. I think it's supposed to be scary. Yeah, there's nothing scarier than. Some blonde suburban lady with a I want to talk to the manager haircut coming in your retail store. I think it's supposed to be like superheroes in the suburbs and like yeah, the the horror that, that everyone interrupts in that. Dear Linkara, hi, it's me again. It's Here's Dark Hood issue number three, and I'll send you a copy of Dream Reader issue number one as soon as I finish it. If oh. Dark Hood got made into an anime cartoon, I like Johnny Young Bosch as a voice actor. Uh, Stephanie Ishea yeah, voice Rachel. Dark. And Eric Lopez, voice Blake. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Joe. P.S. My Hero Academia has become my favorite new anime of 2018. Cool. Thanks so much. But yeah, I really gotta catch up on it. I've been really behind. Tell me about it. I'm still months behind on several titles. Yeah, I'm just there's just other anime that comes out that catches me. Like, right now I'm watching Magical Girl Spec Ops Asuka which is probably my favorite anime so far of this season. I mean, I, I can't help it. I love subversions on Magical Girl stories. It's the reason why Monica is still one of my favorite anime. But anyway, I'm opening something from Nick Giangala. Huh. This one, this stuff was uh, done by Jake Androjack from an eBay purchase. An Amazon attack, a deadly bee weapon. Bees. My god. Linkara, big fan of Top Fourth Wall. Surprised to see your name came through my eBay shipping. Thanks for all the great videos and enjoy the book another fan has sent your way from Nick. Uh, ah. From Big Tin Robot, Toys and Collectibles. So someone else bought it, but the person who was like works for it for that or does that eBay is like, oh my god, Linkara? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nick, and thank you whoever uh, uh, bought the thing. I'm gonna let you save that one. Yeah, that's pretty. Wh what's in there? You want peanuts? What else is in there besides the peanuts? I already got the comic. Oh, let's open it up and take a look at what we got. Well, too bad. I want to put down these peanuts. I know. You do that. I'll, I'll put them away in a second. Or I ate some. Yum. Yeah. Let's make s'mores later. Uh, let's. I bought material to make s'mores. Just put them, make them on our stove. Yeah, we've been like into s'mores lately. I mean, it's just... 
we don't have a campfire or a fire pit or a fireplace at our house, so we just take plus, a fork and put them over the stove. Plus, it's like negative nine degrees outside. So even if we wanted had a fire pit, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Remember when we were house shopping and we found that place that advertised they had a fire pit, but it was like the place from hell. Yeah. Except for the nice fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a house from the 50s, like a freezer from the 50s. There was a freezer from the 50s, a like bomb shelter-esque freaking uh, basement. basement, and a uh, very horror house bathroom stall, and a pretty nice fire pit. Anyway, we got the My Little Pony micro series featuring Pinkie Pie, but the cover is a... Uh, Optimus Prime with Pinkie Pie cosplaying Optimus Prime. I love how I love how that that basement house, yo, know, yo, know, that counted as a bathroom. Like it counted as the, the place that was said to have two bathrooms, and that was counted as a bathroom even though it was like a chest high wall in the basement with like a with, with like you know a, you know, a, a here's a radiation clearing chemical shower and like a toilet in the corner. All the appliances were from the fifties. There was a tiki bar for some reason in the basement, in this concrete basement, no carpet, no anything, barely any lights, but yet the tiki bar in the corner. It was a creepy house. It was. Marvel comic super special Blade Runner. Ooh. Uh, first issue of Aztec the Ultimate Man. Thank you for that, but I actually have the trade of the entire series. All right, uh, I'm opening something from... The Dark Crystal. Not from The Dark Crystal. This doesn't have a name. And The Last Starfighter. Nice. So, that, that's for a future uh, movie comics month. I'm opening something that doesn't have a name, but look, we got Wrath of Khan itty bitties. Why? Because they're itty bitties. Why? Because they're Wrath of Khan itty bitties. Why? Oh, we also got this stand for ornaments, something we could have used like a month ago. We got and a discovery Star ornament. Yeah, on our Christmas tree, it was pretty much decorated with just starships. Yep. Just. It was mostly starships. We have two trees. One is my nightmare before Christmas tree is what I call it. It's just like a gawky tree. It's a all black Christmas tree with like zombie ornaments and everything. And the other one was just a standard Christmas tree, but it's filled with starships. Oh, cool. We got a transformer. I'm closing up this one. What uh, transformer you got there? Uh, Starscream. You like Starscream, right? Everyone loves Starscream. Oh, God damn it. We also got a My Little Pony one, a Firefly, an old school My Little Pony. We got uh, more Transformers with. It looks like this looks like a very vintagey one. It's probably not. It's like probably recent, but has a vintage box. Ooh, wow, that's uh, Rodimus. Yeah. Uh, they're probably not Rodimus Prime, but uh, Hot Rod at the very least. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's more recent toy, but they put it in such a classic box. I know, I love that. Yeah, same. Oh, we got some a game here. We got for Xbox One Doom. Doom, yes. And we have the Xbox One upstairs. We so. do, mind you. I probably would prefer to. I prefer to play first-person shooters on PC, but still, it's Doom. Oh, we got the My Little Pony uh, movie collection, the 35th anniversary edition, that includes My Little Pony the movie and, and My, Little, My Pon Little Pony the movie. So you got the first vintage movie and you got the new movie in a two movie four disc collection. Oh my god, what's on the other discs? Featurettes and uh, other things and uh, oh my god, this is wonderful. Does it come with smooths though? Nothing can stop the smooths. Oh man, this is this is awesome. I didn't even know they would release this. Oh man, and it's all and the original one on Blu-ray though. Oh sh oh shit, and it's four discs, so you know there's like other stuff that they have, and so I'm like, oh oh man. Spider-Man postcard, no name attached to it. You know I'm gonna like, freaking put this in my computer for later. Uh, let's see, we got oh more, we got some Babysitters Club books. Yay. <laughs> I actually like, the, someone sent us the box set of the first four Babysitter's Club books, and I actually read them because when I was a kid, I liked the Babysitter's ah. Club. I uh, didn't like the books. I mostly watched, the. I watched a movie, and I think if I remember correctly, there was a TV series. And I think I read some of the books because my sister also had them and like collected them and read them. So yeah, I like, I actually like these, uh, the comic versions, the modern comic versions. So, yeah, nice. Babysitter's Club. Although I think I already have this one. Sorry. But I 
don't think I have this one, so yay. Got a letter to Linkara, Vega, and Jess, actually. I still got more stuff in this box. Oh, jeez. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Uh, we got a 100-page giant of World's Greatest Superheroes uh, holiday special. We got Pilot Season. We got Numb, Extra, and Kevlar. We got Mighty Mouse. Remember that Mighty Mouse cartoon from the 90s? Yes. It was great. Uh, Unholy Union, The Mummy, Star Trek, Love or Death, Star Trek, Sabotage or Gremlins, White Thing, Witchblade. So that's Sabotage or Gremlins, and hooray, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> He-Man, The Eternity War, and... Oh, oh God, Left Behind comic? Left Behind, a graphic novel of Earth's last days. I was a big fan of Left Behind books when I in in middle school. I think nowadays I recognize just how bad they were. When I was a kid and uh, in church, they would show us the Left Behind movies. The, the, and some of the kids actually did read the book, but I'm more familiar with it through the movies. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, there are actually individual letters from Andrew Weinstein here, so I'm going to leave the one for Jess to give to her later. Yep. And I'll open the one for us. Yay. Um, so unfortunately, it's also taped down, so give me a second here. Just, oh my god. There we go. The ah, the Christmas card. So, dear Lewis, Excelsior, dear Lewis and Vega, happy holidays. Thank you for entertaining me over the years and for being a voice of reason in a crazy world. Take care of each other. Sincerely, Andrew. Thank I don't you. know if I'm a voice of reason. I am the voice of uh, weeaboo shit, so, yeah. Now, some of these I opened already because Hawaii. because of uh, uh, needing to get to uh, trying to find other stuff. So I've got an open box here from Amazon. Nope, this one's for Speeding Bullet Books, and it's, uh, try it up. Stuff from Jeffrey Piat. We got more Devil Man, Volume 2. Yeah, I already got Volume 2. And Sorry. Volume 1 again. Oh, I already got volume one. That is now my third volume one. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we got Invincible, huh. which I got rid of all my Invincibles lately because it's like, eh, eventually I'll get the trades, and now I have a trade. Hooray. So I'm just getting to start off. Yeah, I recently sold off a lot of my, in Invincib my Invincible collection. I had, like, a stack this big of just, like, the floppies. I really need to read that at some point. Yeah, well, now you can. I think, I, I think we got a trade already, at least, of Invincible. I didn't see one. And so, yeah. Another box that was already open and looking for something else. We got a Spider-Gwen figure. Oh, my God. Must open box. Nice. Spider-Gwen. Ah. We got stuff wrapped in lots and lots of... <laughs> Although I wish they had the uh, haircut from the movie. <laughs> I'm opening something from William Latimer. Got an X-23 statue here. An X-23? Uh, do you see Logan? Oh, no. Basically, Spider-Man's clone daughter. What the? Which, yeesh. Uh, does she look like that in the movie? No. <laughs> Wasn't she a child in the movie? In the movie, yes. Then... Like, I think she's a teenager nowadays, but, like, this yeah. This is slightly uncomfortable. Yep. Also, the hair is slightly translucent. It's weird. It's it's like anime figures. Yeah. Also <laughs> loose. <laughs> anyway, William Latimer sent a lot of comics in this. Oh, I do that. I still got stuff in here. Yep. Looks like a stand for it. Oh, good. And something else I can't really get in. Let's see. Yeah. Got aliens. Lots of aliens. Like. Probably a, a ton of the run of aliens. So you should do an aliens month or an aliens episode. Sweetie. What? 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, Lewis, you're so lame. Yep. Got tiny, tiny Sailor Moon figures here. Ooh, let me see. This bag is full and overflowing. And of course, they detailed panties under their skirts. Hold up, let me see. This bag's overflowing. I gotta take care of it. Yep. Yeah, close that up. I got a fresh bag right here in anticipation of how many stuff, how much stuff we got here. Yep. These girls surely have panties, but yeah, they're like tiny. 
I could put this in my Sailor Moon Shrine. And yes, I have a Sailor Moon Shrine in the living room. <laughs> because I'm a geek. Uh, yeah, any other garbage you can stick in here. Honey, you don't know how lucky I am to be with someone who not only understands and likes my geeky eccentricities, but also has their own geeky eccentricities. Thank you. Get you someone who likes that part of yourself. Or get yourself someone who will read off letters from Adam Ozella. Ah, it's Adam O. This might be a, I think this might be a letter that we forgot to read previously. Maybe. Because, <laughs> like, we got a lot of them, and then, like, like, I think one got left behind upstairs. This is why I always check after you. <sighs> uh, we gotta... Meanwhile, I'm gonna open this one from Bubblegum Toys. There's a ton of questions here. Uh... I, I'm only gonna read one of these just because they're like it's like two pages worth on each one. Oh my! So front and back. Yeah, not front and back, just two pages. But I'm gonna read one set of questions because there's a lot, and we still got plenty of stuff to go through. And we got an Ame Kame Bat Girl. For Lewis, have you heard of Posh Prick Reviews? He did an in-depth analysis of the DCEU and why it's such a failure, in which he says DC is such a Marvel wannabe that they've forgotten it, that in order to make a good movie universe, you first need to have good movies, which I agree. Do you as well? I mean, yeah, but part, part of the problem is it's not just a matter of the movie has to be good. It's a matter of thematically... There's a lot of things that go into what, what is good or bad. I mean, that's, it, that's a very broad way of putting it, but basically, yeah. Mm. For Vega, my two favorite anime movies are probably ones you've never heard of. Trey and Paprika. What are yours? What the heck? I've, I've seen True Report and Paprika, and they're pretty good. One of my favorite anime movies... Now that's hard. I will say, no, wait. I, ugh, it's such a hard question because I have so many. My top three, if I can name them off right now, Your Name, Love Live, the first movie. I know, weird. And uh, Tokyo Godfathers, definitely. Here's a long overdue missed opportunity that you seriously need to correct, and that is from your Wrath of Khan review. When Khan says it's cold out in space, I don't know whether this was an inside joke, but in 1947, Neptune's daughter, Ricardo Montalban, starred alongside Esther Williams, and the two sang the song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. I can 99% guarantee you it was not an inside joke to that. It was a reference to two things, that revenge is a dish best served cold, and that at space itself is a very cold place. That's also, we got an Aladdin comic. That is it. That, that's not a missed opportunity. For Vigo, what is the the anime idol that you like but everyone hates? Um, really, no one really hates idols because no one cares about them but me and maybe three other people on the internet. So, eh. For Lewis, I have read now several issues of Teen Titans, and all I have to say is, sorry, Lewis, I don't like it. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't hate the Titans either. In fact, I read JLA slash Titans, the Technus Imperative, and I really enjoyed it. However, when I read either the original Silver Age version, or the Marf Wolfman slash George Perez area, or any others, I found them to be too confusing and really boring. But there will still be some great character moments that I did enjoy, but don't feel bad, Lewis. I know lots of people who love the Just League comics, however, I do not. Then again, I love the X-Men and you don't, so now we're even. That's fine, and also, that's not a question. Okay. For Vega, is there a particular TV anime that you refuse to watch? Not really. I can't think of one. For both of you, uh, what is your favorite meal? I love rigatoni, chicken, and broccoli. Uh, beef curry. I love beef curry. I also like t uh, coconut Thai curry. I like regular curry. I also like curry croquettes. Really, just curry. I could say chicken tenders, because that's the default answer, but honestly, I don't really have a favorite food. I just like Party things that I like. Holiday special. For Vega, are you excited for the Steven Universe TV movie? I really hate the Cartoon Network keeps teasing us. Of course I'm excited. I love Steven Universe. I, oh God, change your mind. Oh. Yeah. We were like this at the TV. <laughs> oh God, it was just so good. If the show ended on that, if there was no more Steven Universe, which we know there's going to be. Yeah. But if there was no more Steven Universe after that point... I would be completely fine. I, I, I like, was very satisfied with it. I am perfectly okay with TV series, you know, planning their episodes around, uh, you know, planning seasons around. If, yo, yo, let's have our season finales be, if the show doesn't get canceled, let's end on a good note. Yeah, and that was the best note, and I would be fine if there was no more Steven Universe. But yeah. there is. So I'm like, what are they going to do? 
there's still things that, that, that are left unresolved, a few questions that haven't been answered or fusions we haven't seen yet, so. I want a Parad uh, a Paradot and a Lapis fusion so bad. I know, right? Oh my god. My favorite episode of your show is Marvel number five review because I laugh so hard whenever I watch it. Did I'm I make a good choice? Dr. Herbert West. Uh, yes, uh, you did make a good choice, although I personally like Marvel number four. It's a little bit more than Marvel number five. For Vega, do you think Lewis is like Pee Wee, Pee -wee Herman if he was from Minnesota? Hell no. <laughs> First off, he doesn't jack it in movie theaters. No. Second off, you see all this meat on him? Third, I don't think he'd look good in gray suits. Fourth, I mean, I've done it once on, a sh on the show. And fourth, you only have one, like, s chair in the house that ha that talks. He has, like, 50. That chair is really annoying. I don't know why we keep it around. Well, it, it, sometimes I get lonely. Fair enough. <laughs> For Lewis, I spent an entire week binge-watching the entirety of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh, and whoa. Can't show this. Yep. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah, you could. It's not. I don't think there's any nudity. It's the cave woman, the zombie situation. The back is slightly better. Yeah. The cave woman, the zombie situation. I really didn't like Star Trek until I saw one of the shows. My favorite episode is the tie between Far Beyond the Stars and The Visitor. I want to know what your favorite episode is. Uh, let's see. The Visitor is a good one. Uh, in the Pale Moonlight. Uh, I, uh, Magnificent Ferengi is good. Uh, Way of the Warrior. There's a lot of good DS9. It's hard for me to pick. Uh, in the Pale Moonlight is really good. Oh, uh, probably... Ah, uh, damn, what's the name of it? Oh. You got a review copy of uh, Saban's Power Rangers, Soul of the Dragon. Problem is, I already have a copy of it. Well, now you got another one that's not for sale, because it's a review copy. Yeah. Anyway. Man, this art looks great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Boom Studio comics are fantastic. Well, I know. Oh, by the way, I finally, read, I finally read Shattered Grid. Good stuff. Mm. Okay, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of the damn... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's the one in season two, probably season one, actually. I can't remember. Uh, with the uh, Cardassian, who was the uh, head of Galatep, the concentration camp on Bajor. Uh, you'll you know the episode out uh, if you know what I'm talking about. And when you watch it, you'll know why it's my favorite. It's, just, it's such a damn good episode. For all of you, my favorite Doctor Who is of all time is Eleventh Matt Smith, and his era is my favorite era. I already know Sylvester McCoy is Lewis's favorite Doctor, but who is your favorite modern Doctor? David Tennant. And Vega, who is your favorite Doctor? Also, my favorite episode from the series is Rings of Akaten. My favorite Doctor right now is Jodie Whittaker. <laughs> oh, man. I was waiting for a female Doctor forever. We but before that, Matt Smith. We are still so far behind. We need to get caught up more. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, uh, in, or in order from my favorites to it's kind of the middle. I'm not naming all the Doctors. Just my top four. Uh, Jodie Whittaker. Matt Smith. David Tennant. Sylvester McCoy. Uh, P.S. I included two letters in this one because one was sent back to me again. Also, I don't like Babylon 5. It's boring. Sorry, Lewis. You're How wrong. How dare you? How far did you get? Did you pass season one? Because season one is kind of like kind of set up. It doesn't... I think it gets the best in season two because, you know, when shows grow to beard, they just really grow to beard. Yeah. And uh, season, it's it's great. Season two... Watch it till at least season three, okay? See, season two and three are great. Season four is like, oh my god, shit balls. And... Ah, and then ah, season five is like... Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, then season five is just... Uh, screw yeah. Byron. Yeah, Byron sucks. <sighs> Byron was I the love worst. Babylon Five, it's great. Anyway, I'm ordering, I'm opening something from Charles P. We still need to watch the movies. Yeah, we still gotta finish Crusade. <laughs> yeah, but Crusade's not exactly, you know, a priority. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, from Charles P. We got Satan's secretary. What the, what the hell is this going to open up Satan's here? Satan's secretary. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> Satan's secretary. I think it's pretty self-evident. We got Ibitsu. That looks like it's a horror manga for Longbox. Yeah. Urban legend has it that a girl in gothic Lolita garb will sometimes appear at the local garbage drops in the middle of the night, putting a question to passerby's. Would you have a little sister? The reply to seal one's fate... The reply is to seal one's fate and meet with a diabolical death at the hands of none other than his twisted sister. And tonight, another man will fall prey to the horror. Oh man, this looks awesome. That just seems mean. Oh man, this this is cute. 
I like it. <laughs> oh, and we got the Star Star Trek Four original movie script. Yep, I have one or two of those, I think. Yeah, you do. What the? Oh, I... oh, and a letter, they, of course. They put a piece of cardboard on the back for no reason. <laughs> Dear Louis and Vega, please enjoy these gifts. I thought Louis might enjoy the Star Trek movie script for the Trek Nerd Collection. We have like three like shelves devoted to Trek. <laughs> we downsized it and we still have a lot. For Vega, I gift you two mangas. Satan's Secretary, I think it might give you a few chuckles. And Ibitsu, a horror manga of a goth Lolita. It's pretty creepy but seems right up your alley. You're right. Grim Tales of Terror, Pickford's model. Finally, I don't think of the CD as late to the party, but early for next Christmas, and 20 bucks. Don't think of the CD as late to the party, but... Oh, here it is! Twisted Sister, a Twisted Crips Christmas! Neat! Nice! Another eBay one right here. This is cool. Hmm. Oh, man, we... <laughs> this, I wish we had this before Christmas, you could have played it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's see. Thank you, Vega, for your streams on drawing Lily Hoshikawa from Zombieland Saga. They've been quite enjoyable to watch and listen and listen to. Looking forward to seeing what you draw next. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, okay. I see you all the time in the streams. Hi, right, thank you for watching. I'm currently enjoying Chojin Sentai Jetman, aka, aka the Sentai that became out, came out before Zoo Ranger. So far, my favorite thing about it is the Yellow Ranger, Raita Osh. He's a little pudgy man with glasses, something you don't see often in superhero films, which makes me think of Flame Fist from Deadpool 2. Hmm. Quick questions. Have you seen a trailer for Brightburn, and what are your thoughts? Nope, not interested either way. I haven't seen it. Did you enjoy, did you, how did you enjoy MST3K The Gauntlet? I didn't finish it yet, but I'm three movies in. I, I, Pacific, uh, Pac no, Atlanta Atlantic Rim. Rim was pretty funny. The, uh, Mac and Me was all right. They, Mac and Me was part of this, right? Yes. Yeah. And what was the other one that I just lost my shit at? Oh, God. Is, is it the... I can't even remember. I still haven't watched any of it. I really need to, but it's just like... I don't want to watch Mac and Me, like, well, in any form. Well, that. Yeah, but it's like a storyline thing, isn't it? Uh, not really. It, like, resolves the end of season 11. Just watch the beginning of uh, five minutes and you're good. Hmm. Uh, what, the, what does Vigo hope to see in the next season of MLP? What I really hope is that they make a satisfying ending to the show, being that it's the last season of the show. It's been confirmed it's going to be, season nine is going to be last. It needs to be a good ending. For the almost decade of backstory we have with these characters, they deserve a good ending. Yeah, it's not going to be Steven Universe good, but it has to be freaking good with all the stuff we got. Otherwise, if, if, they, if they do not stick this landing, it will go down in infamy. Just saying. The MST3K, the other thing, the other thing is... You mentioned Atlantic Rim. I don't know if I want to watch Atlantic Rim either because because I get I get it. It's not the '90s anymore. Movie, you know, they have to start moving on to B movies beyond stuff from from you know pre 1990 and 2000. But it's just like uh, it's so recent. I don't like it when they do recent stuff uh, up for it. But at the same time, I understand why they're doing it. Oh yeah, there was that movie with the desert. Now remember, Desert with Aliens. Gotcha. Yeah, I just I I. Don't like it, but I get why. It's just annoying is all. Anyway, next question. Uh, has Nicar been keeping up with his rent? Yes. When he's not being attacked by monsters and other things and having tournaments in the basement that it goes against the lease. Look, 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 look. I got nothing. <laughs> Uh, thank you both for all the entertainment you provide. I hope your holiday experience has been enjoyable. Have a happy belated heartwarming eve to Vega and a belated Patrick Swayze Christmas to Lewis. May 2019 brings a better year than the few past ones. Uh, P.S. Just for equal rights fun, can we see Vega do I am a woman punch? Your friend, Charles P. I am a woman! Ah, dead. Oh no, I killed my husband. No one must know. Do 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 do. <laughs> Great white balance, sweetie. Anyway, I got something from uh, Jeff Hillary here, which I could. There we go. Oh, oh! For a minute, I thought that was like something else. All right, he's got individual letters. Some of these, so I, I'm not gonna read them off for you, just because there's a lot here. But like something called Brat Pack. Meanwhile, I'm opening something from Frank V. Buccicchio. Cinderella serial killers. The Mercenary Sea. 
Fathom, Dawn of War, and something it's stuck to. Sovereign. Captain Victory. And the Tick. Nice. So thank you, Jeff Hillary. Nice. All right, we've got here. Ah. Oh man, it's in plastic too. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Take that. Anyway, we got uh, Grim Fairy Tales. We got Re Grim Fairy Tales: The Realm Knights. We got the Realm Knights. We got Helsing, Grim Fairy Tales one. Van Helsing versus Frankenstein from Xenoscope. We got Wonderland down the rabbit hole. We got the Little Mermaid. We got uh, Tales from Oz. We got the Realm Knights. We got uh, Tales from Wonderland. We got Grim Fairy Tales with Sexy Lady. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't show that. Inferno. King of Nerds? What the heck? Uh, I think it's the ad at the back. Yeah, I know. But I'm just like, this was a thing? I guess. Code Red! And Dark Queen! Just a lot of Xenoscope and uh, Grim Tales stuff. Grim Tales Wonderland! And Realm Knights! So lots, I've got... Lots of Xenoscope. So I've got not an eBay purchase, but an Etsy purchase, purchase from Be Nerdish Crafts. Another Beta Pikachu! Look at that! Look how adorable it is! It's so well made! Hmm. This looks like it's been made in a store! Oh my god! This is like very well made! Look I at gotta, the quality at this! I gotta check that out see if uh, they got more than just the Beta Pichu. Maybe! Man, it's just... Look Look at this crap... crap... craftsmanship! Hmm. Oh, I wonder if they it's took... really well stuffed, too. I wonder if they took the face off of a regular Pikachu for that. Or a regular <laughs> Pichu. That would be hilarious. Because it does look very similar to a Pikachu face. That's why, that's why, why, why it looks so pro, but I think they just have a machine that does this and embroidery. People have those. Hmm. Some of my friends who are, are really hardcore about cosplay have embroidery machines to do stuff like this. And some of the plushie makers, like, they, that in the uh, Brony fandom... They have this type of quality. More beta, beta, gold, silver, beta Pokemon sent to me, please. I love them. I'm just, oh, and it's stuffed so well. It's firm, but still soft and squeezable. Oh, I'm just really impressed with this. It's such a great item. I would love it if someone could send me that beta, uh, uh, bay, uh, the, the, the beta bay leaf, because that thing is freaking weird. I'm not sure if you could even, like, figure out how the hell that thing's supposed to look. It's just such a great item. Look at it. I enjoy it from an artistic standpoint and a kawaii standpoint. Hmm. Pichu. 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 I'm sorry I like it. I love it too. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you whoever bought that for me. Did you look on the box? It was just from the Etsy seller. Ah. Well, thank you whoever did that. Mm. It's wonderful. I'm opening something from Christopher Lodet. More stuff. But this is uh, Jeffrey P. Actually, had sent this, is this from one. Because it's from Because it's from Xenoscope and it has his name on it. Ah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Again, yeah. Jeffrey, you realize you can just, you know. I, okay, I got it. To the... Jeffrey. You spend a lot on just us. I think in 2019, your goal should be conserving your money. Invest in something. Start a business. Uh, buy some trendy clothes for yourself. Buy stuff that makes you happy. You know, you're all like, I'm sad, so I'm going to buy stuff for other people. But no, you got to focus on you. 2019, I want you to take, take all that. Take all this money. Focus on you. Not us. I'm cutting you off here because I think it's better for your mental health. And your just and your financial health. And yeah. I'm worried about you, dude. I, I really am worried about you. Mm, that's it. Hmm. Sorry I had to put an intervention in the PO unboxing. Yeah. 
Anyway, a bunch of grim fairy tale stuff. Oh, oh ah. my. Ooh. Including. Ooh, I can't show this. Yeah, can't show that. Toss that away. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, somebody tells me we got a a, a naughty batch. Of it's a bunch of grim here. fairy tales we stuff got right here. So much grim. This is like mostly grim fairy tales in my hand. Oh man, we got the same issue that we just I just showed off. Lots of grim fairy tales here, and grim fairy tales uh, stuff. Hey, we got some non fairy tale stuff. We got jungle. That's porn. Uh, we got we got that off. We've got one of those already. Stan Lee meets Doctor Strange. Not porn. What? This is not porn. Uh, we got the Ravening. Looks like a uh, lesbian vampires that I uh, like lesbians that are vampires. Ha ha. Yes, they they eat more than just once a month. Uh, <laughs> I could tell someone was thinking that joke. We got Rem Eight. I like the artwork on the cover. That's pretty cool. Zombies, the curse. Uh, Tales from Oz. Uh, whoa, wait. Okay, no, it's cool. Tales from Oz. And Hack Slash, my first maniac. Man, that looks like some of the girls I went to school with. <laughs> Got stuff from Benjamin Hayden. Oh, that's actually some of the girls I went to the club with. <laughs> you know, stop scene, Lewis. Stop I know. Scene. I just have nothing to say. Speaking of which, we should go back to the uh, club club later this month. I know. Yeah, there's this really good club in Minneapolis, Ground Zero. Love it. All right. Uh, what you got there? If Why don't you show those off to the camera while I read off the letter? Sure. All right. Dear yeah, Lewis, cool. you don't have to say it out loud. Uh, Merry Christmas. Got a young. Mm. Merry Christmas, or if you get this package after Christmas, then Happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day, I guess. Happy Valentine's. I hope you like the new set of odd comics I sent you in this package. Two of them are Christmas comics that I think you could use for your Christmas episodes for 2019 and 2020. The best one being the Deadpool comic where he's hired by some kids to kill Santa Claus for not giving them Christmas gifts. That seems to be one of the most popular stories to do with anti-hero comics today, but it is much better than anything made with the Punisher involving Christmas. And I also have some questions I would like to ask you. How many more Punisher Christmas comics are there left for you to review on your show? As we've seen today, quite a bit. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the upcoming superhero horror movie Brightburn? Namely, I don't care. Uh, have you already seen the trailer for the new Netflix series The Umbrella Academy, a.k.a. British X-Men? I've seen parts of the trailer. I, I don't care. Are you going to do another Event Comics Month for this year? Not this year, but next year. I can't do Event Comics Month and a retrospective in the same year. It's too much work. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new Netflix reboot of She-Ra? Oh my god, I love it! I can't wait for season two! What did they say, like, April? Oh my god. So, I was like, eh, Steven Universe is in hiatus again. I guess I could watch this. Watch one episode, eh, that was pretty good. Watch another episode, that's good. By the time I got to episode eight, I just ended up just binging the rest of it, because, oh my god, I love the character designs. I love the characters. The episode where, uh, Katra and She-Ra, like, well, Adora were, uh, trapped in a thing and they were seeing their past memories and how they grew up really hurt me because I know what it's like to be like Catro as a child and have a an, and you know be compared to or thought less of than another kid in your family and it just hurts oh I I, I love that uh uh what's what's her name what's her name the Scorpina no not the one that is all brainy that reminds me of Molly I don't watch I haven't Shit, watched I it. forgot and it and, 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 and trapped her? yeah I like how she <laughs> ended up on the horde side just because she was, <laughs> oh god, I'm saying so much spoilers, but just because she was kind of lost there, <laughs> and just and a hilarious interlude later, and now she's like doing robot stuff with like like just tech stuff with Katra, and uh, I love the print the episode of the Princess Ball, I I. Oh, uh, just, I love everything about She-Ra. It is the best show on Netflix. I need the rest of it now. I love this show. Ah! Ah! Half of these, half of these P.O. boxes is just me yelling at the camera. Yes, because you have very passionate thoughts about things. I have passion, damn it! Thank you for answering my new questions, and I hope you like the new comics I sent you. Sincerely, Benjamin J. Hayden. Why isn't there a She-Ra comic? There is. Oh my god, why don't we have it? Well, I think it's an old She-Ra comic. I mean, She-Ra uh, with this one. Yeah. She-Ra and Princesses of Power. And there's lots of 
thingies. Foam peanuts, yeah. You know what? Let me see if I could just hold it, hold it I'm, open. I'm holding it open. It's just, it's, it's very full right now. Oh my god, is it just a comic? If it's just one comic with all these peanuts. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we found something more annoying than double uh, cardboard. What is wrong with these packagers? Oh, and it's a uh, jungle fantasy. It's more porn. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all. That's all the boxes on my end. Guess what? I have a lot more boxes on my end. So here's a stack. Hi. Nice. Also, you know, still I need to break them down and throw them away because otherwise this office is already dirty enough as it is. I'm trying to keep it. Yeah, soon we're gonna con Mari the f out of this. Yep. I finished uh, um, at least sixty percent of the house. All that's left is finishing up the utility room and the library, and then all we got is the supply room. And this office. Yep. Because we're gonna spark some joy up in this basement. All right, got uh, another thing from Jeffrey Piet. Uh, Marvel Masterworks She-Hulk. All right, Thank we got so much. we got something from Mark Merrill, but it's kind of hard to open. Yeah. Yeah, it's very duct taped. Yes. More Xenoscope stuff, so I'm presuming more from Jeffrey Pia, but this is a larger box. How do you know it's Xenoscope? Because it says Xenoscope right up here. Ah. Oh, it's an Amakami Girls uh, Supergirl. Mm. Okay. Oh, for the love of... <sighs> Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. They're the other bane of everyone's existence. Uh, they get everywhere, and it's like months later, and you'll still find them. Is that a freaking binder? Sort of. It looks like it's some special collector's edition box full of other box of books. Yeah, it's 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 a special thing full of. We got the individual issues already. Do we need the big one? Which why is that even a special edition? Because people like their jungle book slash hot ladies comics. Speaking of, there's a poster inside. I'm getting packing peanuts everywhere. Whoa, is that a poster we can show? Uh, yes, but I don't care because it's Xenoscopes. Oh, there's two of them. Yep, that one oh, I can't show. Oh, that one we cannot show. It's the, uh, so there's a ver there's a comic version of on one of the comics and she has the Sailor Moon top. I was going to say because she's, she's holding the Sailor Moon one there. Yeah, there's one with the Sailor Moon top, but that one, she does not have a top. Yeah, we're not keeping that. <laughs> Oh, speak. Oh, this is just jungle fantasy. Oh, the man. not Xenoscope. <laughs> it's like Avatar's trying to be Xenoscope with this series. Some kind of horror thing. Ugh. And I'm going to toss this out of the way because yeah, this thing is getting full. Yeah. Maybe I'll we clean it up later. A third bag. This is the third bag. A fourth bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We underestimated. Anyway, I'm opening something from Back in Time Comics and Toys. Hey, you want to know what the real problem is with the KonMari method? It's none of, the, none of the racist crap. It's none of the sexist crap. It's nothing about the capitalism crap. It's about the fact that you create so much damn garbage. We have so many... We, we, we have filled up our garbage bags so many times now in the last few weeks. We're in full of stuff. San Diego. Yeah, we've been, like, taking a lot to uh, savers. Hmm. We've been... Get just throwing away some things that we just didn't need, and some things we just and donated the ones that were in good condition, and sold some things that were in best condition. And the, and these are very good things. The problem is, just just the PO box is filling up three large garbage bags. So we're gonna have so we have so much garbage. But yeah, we I've been organizing uh, since like I got back from my vacation in January, and we I think we got rid of at least. 22 bags of clutter and we're not minimalists by any means we're kind of maximalists we love we like want to live in one of those houses with goofy crap on the walls everywhere nash came up to help us move out of here a few years he came out and moved out of the apartment a few years ago his, his repeated phrase was y'all got too much shit and we do and we like having a lot of shit but we even i realize that sometimes we just have too much man that's, that's too, too much, much man. man watch bojack <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it's been working for me. My office is in uh, our bedroom, our living room, our kitchen is the best it's been in a long time. Oh, yeah. We're not messy people by any means, but everything's just more clear. And we know where everything is now. We organized our tools, damn it. Oh, we got dirty pill number one, which I already have. I'm sorry. 
I already have all the Dirty Pair uh, Viz comics like this. Okay, why don't you show off the stuff in here? Hey! Alright. Season's greetings, Vega, of this one for you. Oh, okay. I am I am sorry to say that I did not notice that your channel was missing until you said it was on in the last PO unboxing. I still say you and Lewis should find some obscure law that could get the higher ups uh, at YouTube arrested so they would have no choice to... Really? <laughs> we can't arrest YouTube, the YouTube uh, corporate or whatever. The present I'm sending you are another, is another neon star charm and a Sailor Moon chibi charm set. Oh, let me just uh, go through this. Uh, I don't really have anything else to, except I hope you get your channel back before the new year. I didn't. I just started a new channel. And I love these little... Uh, they made a little... I love these. Yeah, the, the, the wax stamps. I just love touching these. <laughs> Happy holidays, Lewis. I'm glad to see you doing well after the loss of Stan Lee. We all took a blow from his passing. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to make this letter too depressing, so I'll get to business with this package, starting with the rocks. In previous unboxing videos, oh, rocks. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you got a box of paper, a box of balls, and a box of spiders. So I figured it's my turn to send you a box of something bizarre in it and keep with the season. Most Dick of them Tracy are cards. red. Uh, now onto the presents. I'm sending you a Dick Tracy card pack. A copy of Ancient Magus Bride number three. And the Blu-ray is a film called Gabbers about a small village in Ireland. Uh, is besieged by alien squids slash leeches that are poisoned by alcohol. When I ordered this, I did not check oh. the region, so wound up with a movie I can't watch. However, you recently got a region-free player, so you can actually uh, watch it. These are a bunch of rocks. Unfortunately, the, the, the region-free player was a DVD player, not a Blu-ray player. Yeah, I thought Blu-rays were um, all regions. Yeah. Blu-rays you could play anywhere, where, right? Yeah. So I think we're fine. Yeah. Because I don't think Blu-rays have the same region restrictions. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. But yeah, we got spiders, we got balls, and now we got rocks! On my side of the country, I figured how I Patreon works and sponsored a video for the review reviewer to review the Unusual Suspects uh, review of Home Alone. I also got got started half of MS3K of the Gauntlet, and so far, Atlantic Rim is my favorite. Nothing much else to say other than I wish you and Vig a happy holiday. Robert W. Wilson. Thank you. I love these neon stars uh, thingies. I turned one of them into a necklace. I, the other one, I'm planning to turn a necklace if I find the right uh, chain for it. And something more for my Sailor Moon, probably my Sailor Moon Shrine, or probably just some keys. <laughs> But yeah, these are cute, and I love how I have like the whole the you know the mother, the father, the child. <laughs> From Roland Allard on this one. What are we gonna do with these rocks? Not no. Hey, honey, want me to rock your world? No, because I probably involve throwing the rocks at me. I'm just rubbing them on your your lap. Yeah, it works. <laughs> hey. I want a rock! Rock! I'm sorry, you got you gave me rock, so now it's time for me to make rock puns. Hey, you know, if I put if I take pictures of these and put them on Tumblr, you know what I get? A rock tumbler. You show these off to people. <laughs> Julian, Kara, and Vega, I'm giving my entire collection of Marvel Mangaverse books to you both because while interesting reads, I don't think they're that good. I do request review of these books in future episodes of Top of Fourth Wall. Oh, please. Yes. And I threw in some extra goodies for good Ooh, measure. Bill and Ted go to hell. Questions. Linkara, ever bought comics from Dollar Tree? No. Oh, we already got this one. Uh, ever, Vega, heard of Bendy and the Ink Machine? Uh, you mean that game? Yes. Uh, I heard of it, but I never played it. Hmm. Uh, both, who are your favorite reviewers? Me. Uh, favorite reviewers? Ooh. That's S hard. SF Debris, mm. Obscurus Lupa, mm. uh, 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 mm. Lindsay Ellis, uh, ContraPoints. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think of others. Phalus. Ooh, this is hard. I get. There's some guy who starts with an L. Uh, maybe. Is it. Elphilus. Is it Rinkara? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. Is it Benkara? Something like that. <laughs> Both thoughts on KB Toys coming back. Have there been Wait, any... KB Toys is coming back? I heard about that a while ago, but I don't think there's been any, been any forward motion on it. Yeah. In the words of the Ormortal Stanley, oh. Excelsior. It's a little Twilight head. Thank you, Rowan. Ah, there were some other DVDs in there, too. Yep, we got... Ash vs. Evil Dead with this really cool cover. Uh, yeah, that's uh, okay. That's on Blu-ray because we actually have the DVDs for it. Press books. 
Yep, and season, season two, two and three there too. And in blue, all in Blu-ray. Those who hunt elves. It's getting really oh fire. my god, I haven't, I haven't even heard the name of this in a long, long time. I didn't even know they re-released this in anything. I, I never watched this, but I knew of it because I would see it in advertisements uh, in anime magazines when it came on VHS. <laughs> and uh, X Men, animated series. Anime. Oh. X Marvel anime series, X Men anime. Oh, so anime. Very nice. Got some from Entertainment Earth here. Could be a bunch of random objects. And I'm out again. So I'll have some more in a moment. Yeah. Got uh, ooh, a Starfire statue. Ooh, let me see. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're already filling up this bin too. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, I'll take care of the boxes later. <laughs> What, dear? Yeah. Got that. And please. Hey, thank you. No problem. Where is that water? Here it is. Not more from rolling out here. It's a big ass box. Probably full of comics. Ooh, I was interested in seeing what's in that box because of its huge size. I'm guessing just from the way it moves around, it's just comics. <laughs> Which, you know, it's fine. It's just a weird-shaped box for comics. Yeah. <laughs> yes, how are you, Roland? Been doing well? <laughs> I'm talking to you like you're in the room. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, I got something again from a uh, eBay seller. Yep. I'm just going to open this up quickly while you open that up. Yep. And oh, it's... Helena. Never heard of it. LED nightlight, Pinkie Pie. Ooh. Venom, Aww. the photo gallery book. What? <laughs> as well as a Marvel Spider-Man thing here. Check those out. And like Venom on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Now I have no excuse why I can't watch it. Yeah. The romantic comedy of the year. Like a turd in the wind. Let's see, we got... Uh, Ooh. My Little Pony Valentine's! Now I can send these to people like, Honey, you make the day 20% cooler. Ark the Lad. Oh, God, now this brings me back. Oh, man, this ADV, too. Oh, this brings me back. I never owned it, but holy shit, that's... This is some... This is vintage now. <laughs> the DC Hanna-Barbera Jetsons comic. Ooh. The Jetsons. A lot of crap in here. Yeah. Eight amazing designs. Perfect Dark. Oh, we got Perfect Dark. A bunch of single issues. I think this is uh, collecting all of them. Dark Horse DC Comics mask crossovers. Hmm. Mask. Uh, who am I going to give these Valentines to? I'm going to give one to you. Aw. Racket Raccoon. Spider-Man Blue. Yeah, sorry. The, the, the box is full, too. You should probably just put them on the ground or something. Batman as, Wildcat. As long as it can stack up, I can do it. Deadpool Suicide Kings, if I can get out of this bag. Ow. Sorry. Hit me. And Kiss Van Vampirella. And... Just quickly, we got something from Lone Star. Oh, crap, I can't attach the thing, of course. Too many things! Damn it, Lone Star. Got a card here, too. As well as a loot crate pin. Oh, cool. For... Screw your lab safety, I want superpowers. <laughs> oh, we got a Warhammer 4000 comic. Hack Slash Vampirella. Countdown Arena. And the crow slash pestilence. Uh, there's a letter there. Yep, I got two letters here. Ah, Mars attacks. It's a, the letter was from uh, from uh, this package, though. So. Ah. I say the letter. It's probably just a Christmas card. It is. Oh, it's a holiday card. Hmm. Friends like you. It's like a Valentine's card. Friends like you make Valentine's Day extra sweet. Tulu and Viggs. 
Here's some more comic donations and extra goodies for you. It's been two years since my brush with the Grim Reaper because of my diabetes, but I'm still on this planet once again. Hooray! Thank you both for helping me cope with my disease. Uh, to let you know, I'm not taking the pen or Geneva. It's just me, just me forming from no one. Just me. Metformin. Maybe it's a, it's oh, a. Oh, Metformin? From no one. Well, no from one. now on. Now on. Happy Valentine's Day. Excelsior. Q&A. Linkar, heard of the Anti-Gravity Room City comic book review preview show on sci-fi? Nope. Vega, what do you think of the G4 channel and its eventual downfall? There's this great video about the downfall of G4 that I highly recommend. It was kind of a retro trip to watch. I love I watched G4 every day when I was younger. I loved Cinematech. I loved uh, uh, I loved X Play, of course. My favorite episode was the uh, every time it was X Play New Year's. Uh, Attack of the Show. I didn't like till much later. But then I got out of it by the time it got very, just kind of pop culture-y. Uh, I, like, I liked how they showed anime sometimes. And I would watch anime like late at night. They, I think they showed Better Man at one point. Oh man, I miss G4, but honestly, it's just, there's no real place for it anymore. Thing, things are different now. If they, if they latched on to things like Let's Plays, who would have thought Let's Plays was going to be a thing? If they latched on to that early on, people would have loved that. If they didn't, like, ha have new owners that decided to get rid of some of the gaming stuff. If they didn't show freaking, like, marathons of cops, maybe we'd still have G4 in some sort of form. But, yeah. I miss you, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I love the X-Play board song about the X-Play uh, message boards. Because, you know, back before we had Twitter and social media, we used to hang out on forums. Oh, man, G4. Still do to a lesser extent. G4, I have so many fond memories of. That was my, like, uh, late teens, uh, early 20s right there. Mm. And bonus, Hollywood Undead or Linkin Park? I don't know what Hollywood Undead is. So I'm assuming another band. So I'm going to guess say Linkin Park just because I listen and know what Linkin Park is. Yep. Anyway, thank you for the card. And yeah. happy Valentine's Day. Why don't you show off these comics and I'll read that other letter. Okay. From uh, Joseph Flynn. Get this out here with some... Ooh, Pokemon uh, Shiny Poipole. I don't oh. know if I can still get this. Yeah, because it's uh, September 17th, October 7th. Probably I cannot get them anymore. Yep. All right, so... This one doesn't even have a name on it. It's just... Just a variant cover. Yeah. Dear Linkara and Vega, how are you two doing? Oops. Happy 10th anniversary to Top the Fourth Wall. Sunset Shimmer is Best Pony. Yep. Here are free Pokemon codes. DC may reboot, but they keep things interesting because they create new stories, unlike Marvel, who does the same story over and over and ruins for classic characters like Captain America with Secret Empire, Spider-Man with One More Day, and Marvel Ultimate Universe. That's debatable. <laughs> I've seen DC retell the same story several times now. Yep. One oh, of my new favorite comic see. series is The Grim Tales. I had theory about Captain America being evil in Secret Empire, but they changed due to negative backlash. Or do you agree or disagree with theory? Wasn't actually a theory other than just... Yeah. Uh, here's a list of Marvel's bad storylines and screw-ups. Just a long list of bad, bad comics. Here's some questions. Will we ever see the meeting of Chester A. Bomb and Snowflame? Probably not. Uh, thoughts on theory that states Ray being a Kenobi? I, it's not... Mm. I prefer I, it not be. How about we just let Ray be Ray? Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Solo? Oh, that was okay. I haven't watched it. It's on Netflix now. I know. I just don't care enough. Thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp? That was good. Yes, it was. How'd you fix Spider-Man? Undo the deal with Satan. Uh, who was your favorite Marvel villain and DC villain? Uh, I don't really have a favorite villain. Yeah. Uh, who, uh, thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming? That was good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Favorite type of cookie? Uh, Snickerdoodle. Thin mints. Snickerdoodle. Uh, have you considered reviewing Death of Superman? Yeah, I thought about doing it. Thoughts on Logan? That was good. Didn't see it. Could Michael B. Jordan play Superman? Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Should Chris Pratt, Platt, Pratt I'm assuming Pratt, not Platt as it says here, play Booster Gold? Yeah. Should he play him? No. Can he play him? Yeah. Uh, just, I like Chris Pratt, but there's such a thing as overexposure of actors. Yeah. 
Has there ever been a retelling of Batman's origins after Bat after Frank Miller's Batman Year One and before the New 52? I don't think so. Not very often. I mean, maybe like an alternate universe story, but yeah, I don't think we've... I think they just kind of like decided, no, we can't do his origin over again. Because you know, we flash back to it all the time anyway. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Ultimate Spider-Man comics? I've never really read that many. Uh, oh, uh, what is the best of Marvel Ultimate Universe and the worst? I'm not really an Ultimate Universe fan. Thoughts on Jack Kirby's Fourth World? Should have ended it and not kept trying to trot it out. Thoughts on James Gunn joining DC Films? Nelson going, ha ha! Ha! Thoughts on Wonder Woman and the Star Riders? The abandoned toy line. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh yeah, that was a thing. They abandoned it. It was basically, I think that became something else as a result. Oh, that sucks. Favorite Alan Moore comic? Probably Tom Strong. Thoughts on Spider-Man having a sister? Really? I haven't heard about that. Thank you for my qu thank you for your questions. You two keep being awesome. I cannot wait to see the Secret Empire review in the future. It is the worst event comic of all time. I haven't read it yet, but that's probably debatable. <laughs> you two have a great day, Joseph Flynn. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. All right, what do you got? Nothing. 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 Well, there's one more box. Hey, let's do it together. All righty. Is there a name on this one? Nope. Well, well. Christopher Lark. Well, that's right. That's from the UPS store. There's a letter, though. Hi. Oh, it is from Chris Lark. Oh, cool. Hi, the Vega and Lakar and Vega. Happy holidays. Not sure if you have these comics, but I thought they'd make a good holiday gift for you and Vega if she's into that kind of thing. I can almost imagine Linkara looking at these comics and thinking, what the heck is this? A comic book that only hypes upcoming comic books? Did Marvel really need its own version of entertainment tonight? Who would ever buy such a concept? Well, keep it to 100 on this. Marvel Age Comics was one of my favorite when I was younger, mainly for two reasons. It made Marvel look that much cooler. And FWIW nicer? Duh. And two, it was cheap. Uh, let's see. The reason I'm sending these to you because are twofold as well. One, you seem like a nice comic book historian who might actually enjoy them. And two, it's a bit embarrassing. Sad but true. These comics aren't worth anything. Check out any comic book price guide from nearly any year. You won't find any collector's price attached to them there. It also explains why I only bag some of them and not the rest. Pardon me. Hope you don't have mind. <laughs> that's an interesting idea. Basically, it's an in, it's an in, uh, in-house magazine that basically promotes upcoming stuff and has like you know articles and price guides and stuff. Mm. So yes, these comics are filled with interesting information tidbits. For example, issue 99 features the lyrics to all the theme songs of Marvel TV series so far at that time. Huh. I know they probably won't be uh, going to the place where bad comics burn, but there wasn't enough inf info tidbit and edutainment for my delicate and refined palate. But I hope you enjoy it, get some enjoyment from them. Might be fun to do an episode about it. Just like, you know, you know, in, you know kind of an interest. much like the swimsuit issues episode I'm going to do later on this year. It might be a, just a fun thing to look over and say, hey, this was a thing once. And, you know, much like how the, you know, the nerd did an episode of Nintendo Power and stuff like that. Please email me if you do decide to talk about them on unboxing when you post an episode to your YouTube page. And thanks so much for reading this. And right. thank you, Chris Lark. Thank you, Chris. All right, so that appears to be everything. Yep, we got a bunch of Marvel Age, a bunch of Valentines and Christmas and New Year's. I got like some unicorns, some DVDs. We got ponies. We got anime calendars from Japan. These big calendars from Japan. And we got... A lot of garbage that we still need to clean up. And some rocks. Yay, rocks. rocks. This oh, good! Rocks! I got a rock. I got a purple... Oh, there's a purple one, and a magenta one, and a galaxy one. You think you're going to form up into gems. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. Why hasn't there been a crystal gems, you know, parody opening with just the rocks? We should look that up, and if not, we should make it. Yes. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Hopefully Bye. it won't take another three months for the next PO unboxing. Bye.